hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to fluid mechanics so far we have discussed various concepts related to fluid pressure and fluid pressure measurement and we discussed two simple ways of measuring fluid pressure with the help of barometer and manometer simple setups in this video we are going to discuss another important concept related to fluid mechanics which is the concept of buoyant force and Archimedes principle which gives us uh, you know basically the law of buoyant force principle of flotation of various objects when they are immersed in a fluid liquid okay so the first question here is what is force of buoyancy or buoyant force so when an object a body of a certain mass is uh, immersed in a fluid liquid either wholly or partially it displaces a certain amount of fluid okay so let's say an object of mass m is immersed in a liquid of density rho l it has a mass m it is immersed in a liquid of density rho l so here the portion of the liquid which this object or this body displaces is this much okay let's call it volume l that is the volume of the liquid which is displaced by this body of mass m when it is partially immersed in it okay so the buoyant force is an upward force which opposes the downward movement of the body okay here another important thing is gravity force of gravity acts on it which is dependent on the mass of the body it is the downward force buoyant force is the upward thrust or the upward force which is produced by the liquid which depends on the volume of the liquid that is displaced by the body and it is given by rho l g v l rho l density of the liquid in which the body is immersed g acceleration due to gravity v l is the volume of the liquid which is displaced by the body when it is immersed in the liquid this is stated by the archimedes principle the archimedes law which basically says that the same thing that when a body is partially or wholly immersed in a liquid the buoyant force acting on the body in the upward direction is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the body weight of the liquid displaced by the body simply means product of the mass of the liquid displaced by the body multiplied with the acceleration due to gravity mass of liquid displaced by the body is simply density of the liquid and volume of displaced liquid rho l and v l the product of these two multiplied with g so the buoyant force is rho l g v l so always remember rho l is the density of the liquid in which the object is immersed v l is the volume of the liquid displaced by the object g is acceleration due to gravity buoyant force is an upward force okay force directed in the upward direction against gravity okay this is for a partially immersed object suppose a body is fully immersed so in this case the volume of liquid which is displaced by the body is equal to the volume of the object that is total volume of the object let's call it only v the total volume of the body this whole object let's say it has a total volume v so when it is fully immersed it displaces 
an equal volume of liquid same as its own volume that is equal to v so here the volume of displaced liquid is equal to its own volume volume of the object that body so in this case buoyant force will be maximum because the volume of displaced liquid is maximum rho l g v okay so another important concept here is the concept of apparent weight of an immersed body so here the apparent weight of an immersed body depends on the buoyant force so as the buoyant force it opposes the force of gravity so there will be a loss in the actual weight it, uh, it will appear that if the weight of the body is slightly less because of this upward buoyant force so this apparent weight of the object when it is either partially immersed or fully immersed in a liquid is simply the difference between the actual weight of the object minus the force of buoyancy okay so here we have to discuss the principle of flotation which depends on this uh, apparent weight so here let's say uh, the force of uh, buoyancy is given by rho l g v l for a fully immersed body this volume of displaced liquid is equal to the volume of the object or the total volume of the body which is equal to rho l g m by rho here m is the mass of the body rho is the density of the object okay rho is the density of the object this body rho l is the density of the liquid in which the object is immersed so here it is equal to mg rho l by rho or weight of the object multiplied with the ratio of the density of the liquid and the density of the object okay so please pay attention to the notations okay so here rho l is the density of the liquid only rho is the density of the object the density of the body which is immersed m is the mass of the body so here rho l g v it is expressed as rho l g m by rho this volume is expressed as mass by density so mass comes outside capital m m g rho l by rho and mg is equal to the weight of the object multiplied with the ratio of the density of the liquid and the density of the object okay this is another alternate expression of the uh, force of buoyancy okay so apparent weight can be expressed as here w minus fb fb is expressed as this w minus w rho l by rho so it is w into 1 minus rho l by rho so it is another important expression of apparent weight in terms of the weight of the object and the ratio of the density of the liquid or the density of the fluid and the density of the object okay so what determines whether an object will float or sink in a liquid when it is uh, you know released in a container or any uh, Uh, you know vessel filled with a certain liquid what is the deciding factor whether the object will float or sink in that liquid so it all depends on the weight of the object and the force of buoyancy so there are three conditions first condition when the weight of the object the downward force is greater than the upward acting buoyant force okay so when weight is greater than the force of buoyancy which means that the downward force is greater than the upward force obviously the object will sink in the liquid it will not float the second condition second and third condition is first one when the force of buoyancy is greater than the weight that is the upward force is greater than the downward force in that case it will float and another alternate expression or another situation which produces the same result is 
when the weight is exactly equal to the buoyant force in that condition also the object will float so when the downward force or the downward acting weight of the object is greater than the buoyant force the upward force in that case the body will sink and in the other two situations where the weight is lesser than the buoyant force or the weight is equal to the buoyant force in those two conditions the body will float okay so these are some of the basic concepts related to uh, buoyant force principle of flotation and archimedes principle okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much